everything is changing so quickly. So three months ago, the only data points we had were from Wuhan, China. And on the basis of that, we had some assumptions. We believe that anybody under 60 was probably going to be okay. We also were under the belief that really children didn't seem to have any symptoms and therefore we didn't really need to worry about children. Well, in the last three months that has changed. We now know that younger people are at risk of coronavirus. We also now know that children can get it. They might not have symptoms, but they can actually transmit the illness. So it's a very difficult situation to, to be tasked with giving people accurate information, but at the same time knowing that that information is changing very, very regularly. So we need to find a way to talk to the general public and to each other that says, right now, this is what we know. But also stay tuned because these things are changing so rapidly. And so when we talk about infodemic as in false information spreading, we need to talk about how we make sure that people understand that information is changing. And we've never really had any case where things are shifting as quickly as they are. It really does feel like our feet are on quicksand. So that's why it's so important to make people aware of the seriousness of the situation, but also how important it is that they stay tuned to reliable sources of information, knowing that things are changing. It's a strange way to end a course, but it's an important message, as important as teaching people emotional skepticism to say, also, things are changing. Stay safe.